Hello everybody and welcome to the 26th episode of Cub Fan's Minecraft Let's Play. I am Cub Fan and today I think what we're going to do is uh, find a use for this dirt that we have left over from uh, the last episode when we made this awesome enchantment room. So what we're going to do is, I think I have enough dirt here. Uh, one more stack couldn't hurt. So what I think we'll do today is we'll make a seed and flower generator. So what we need for this is we need a bunch of signs. So we'll make uh, 16 or 17 signs here. And I need some sticks first, don't I? Okay, so there's a few signs. Uh, I don't think they, yeah, they don't stack. So let's get rid of everything we don't need here. And let's see, we need that. We need the sword, axe we can do without, and this thing's full, isn't it? Let's go to this one. Don't need the pickaxe. Uh, we do need a shovel, but that shovel will not suffice for our needs. What we need is a really good shovel. So let's get let's get two really good shovels if we can. There we go. And let's see, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Fourteen, fifteen. Alright. Okay, so now our inventory is full of signs pretty much full of signs and we have two shovels and part of another one so let's go ahead and build this this generator where do we want to put it is what we have to determine first of all let's see um, let's put it over here on this side of our house back here so we need a 15 by 15 area so let me just mark, start by marking it off. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Let's let's go right about. Huh. Let's put it out in front of our house. Actually, that would that could be pretty cool. Okay, so we're standing here next to our farm. And we're, I don't know, probably about 25, 30 blocks from the house. And I think this would be sort of an ideal place to put the uh, the seed generator and seed and flower generator. It would be, it would give us easy access to the uh, the farm once we generated all the seeds. So I'm just going to dig out a small little area here so that we can uh, put the uh, seed generator uh, right in this area. Alright everybody, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark out a 15 by 15 square because that's how big our, our seed generator will be. So let's just go ahead and mark one side here. And we'll go out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Block there. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right there. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 here. And then that should line up with that one. Let's just check to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep. Okay, so now that we've marked out this space correctly, we're going to have to dig out a 13 by 13 area uh, within this uh, this described region here. So I'll just go ahead and do that now. And we're going to stop uh, one block over and in from uh, the 15 by 15 area we marked. So I'll just dig, dig the perimeter around here and stop there. And then just dig it over to 
here. And then just to complete the circle, dig it over to there. Okay, and it looks like it's getting dark, so I'm going to go ahead and head back in and sleep for the night, and I'll be back in the morning. Alright, audience, welcome back. I'm just going to continue to dig out this area here and um, keep watching out for mobs because there's a zombie who's hiding in the shade. Two zombies, actually, they're hiding in the shade over there. So we'll just keep an eye out for them. Okay, so we went ahead and dug out this uh, 13 by 13 area here. So the next thing we want to do is make a ring. That is, uh, see it's going to be two up off the ground here. And it's going to go all the way around the entire structure. It'll be a 15 by 15 ring that's elevated two off the ground. So I'll just go ahead and make that now. So there you have it. There's our ring, and we can go ahead and knock out uh, that block there. We don't really need that. Alright, audience, so now we're going to dig out the diamond. Uh, we need the diamond to be uh, at maximum length to be 11 long, and maximum width for it to also be 11 long. So first we need to find the center. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here's 7, and we're going to go 1 in and then dig out all the way to the other side where we're also stopping one from the, uh, the side here and then just go to the center again so just move in seven one two three four five six seven so there and then to there and then we're just gonna go ahead and create the diamond so we just dig out like that And let's see, I'm missing uh piece there, piece there, piece there. Alright, so your diamond should look something like this, but we have one major problem. All this, uh, all this cobblestone, or all this uh, smooth stone, rather, is getting in our way. So we're gonna have to go back, and yeah, we need a uh, pickaxe, and we'll have to remove all of that. Yeah, you just want to make sure to replace every non-dirt piece or non-soil piece, because when you apply bone meal to it, it will not generate seeds or flowers. So then we'll just fill all this back in with dirt. Get rid of that. Okay. So there is our, uh, our diamond completed. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is we'll create a three-wide ring within our uh, original 15 by 15 upper ring. That is three wide all the way around. So we'll just make it uh, one, one down from the initial ring and uh, three wide. And this will give us an upper part, which will uh, allow us to grow more seeds than we, we otherwise would have. So I'll just go ahead and complete this. And I'll be back uh, once I'm finished. I should also note that this. This does take a significant amount of dirt, uh, hence why I got all these all these stacks. But uh, yeah, so you want to make sure you have a lot of dirt to spare when you uh, begin this project or your project. Okay, so now we've completed our three by three ring. Now what we want to do is we want to place a block in the corner of this 3x3 three by, 
three ring in each corner. Then we'll go to the side and we'll use our shovel, our shovel rather, and just get rid of the corner blocks here and the uh, the very corner block in our three by three square, our three by three, our three by three row rather. So we'll get rid of that and get rid of that, and then get rid of that and that, and then the final one over here, like that. So as of right now, you should have a structure that looks something like this with these corners removed. And the next thing we will do is we will uh, go ahead and find the center of this thing again. And actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and make, let's just go ahead and show our center point here. I'll just mark it with a pressure plate. So let's mark the pressure plate. The center is right here, it looks like. So there's our center. That's where we'll stand to, uh, to place our water bucket down. And then we'll need to find the center of this thing again, which is pretty easy. You just look at uh, the center of your diamond. And you'll take out a block here. Then you'll take out one to the side, the left side, and one to the right side. So you sort of have three things here. Then we'll place our signs down. There's one sign there, one sign to the left, and one sign to the right. And then we'll just continue this, uh, the same process. Let me just figure this out here. All right, we'll just continue the same process of digging these out, and then we'll put these signs in their appropriate spots on every on every side so I'll go ahead and do that now alright welcome back audience uh, today we're going to uh, see if we can't finish this so the first thing we'll do is we'll put dirt a dirt pillar right in front of our uh, sign our center sign right there that way the water doesn't escape outwards here and instead flows inwards toward where we'll be standing to collect all of our seeds so I'll use dirt for the center one and I'll use glass for uh, these side ones because that way it'll allow us to see any mobs that might be uh, trying to come attack us when we're trying to do this uh, seed collection bit here. So I'll just continue to put this stuff down. And then on this side as well. Alright, so there we go. We have our uh, base structure down, basically. Now what we need is some uh, some ladders here so we can get up to the top. Or actually, we can just go ahead for now. Let's just for now go ahead and make this like a little stair step structure. Right here. There we go. There we go. We'll just put that there temporarily. And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and fill this, uh, this structure in here. Fill up all the empty area we see here, except it'll be one above the uh, this level that we're standing on. So let's go ahead and fill this area in. Alright, so we're close to filling it in. There we go. So we filled in that empty area above the uh, the pressure plate we placed down pressure plate we placed down there. So now we're just going to dig out a hole right above the pressure plate area, and I think it's this one. Yeah. So we'll dig out a hole right above the pressure plate area, and we'll fall down like an idiot. Got to get back up here, and this this part right here is actually crucial because I want the uh, grass to reach up here eventually. And then, so once we've dug out the hole above the pressure plate, we can go ahead and spawn a block. I'll use cobblestone. And that'll be directly above our pressure plate. And then we're going to need to place a sign right inside of there. 
and that will prevent the water from falling down on top of us. So then what we can do is we can go ahead and go on down and make sure this is correct. Yes, okay. That should be good. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and just add the final part of the, uh, the main structure here. So what we need to do here is make a 3 by 2 that is a three wide and two high uh, structure here with the middle part taken out on all four sides and what this does is the water will uh, eventually be on this, the bottom of this block here so the water will typically want to just flow straight out and through down through this hole this hole that hole and that hole all, it'll find, all the water does is find its its fastest way down what this structure here does when you place a sign in it which we will do on all these when you place a sign right there is it diverts the water to the corners so that way it doesn't just follow the straightest path it follows the corners but the signs still allow items like flowers and grass or tall grass to pass through it so let's just go ahead and we will uh, create a few more of these structures so we just need something like that and then three by two and then dig out the center parts and we'll place a sign in this one as well and then we'll just whoop, we'll just continue to repeat this same the same process here there we go that's better. All right, and it looks like uh, we need a crafting table or something up here so we can make some more signs. I think all we need is two more signs, so place a sign in there, and there's one more that doesn't have a sign. Looks like it's this one right there. Alright, so then we can get rid of this crafting table. And I think that's pretty much the whole structure done. Uh, this grass still needs to uh, get up there, but let's see if we have yeah we do have some torches so we can go ahead and uh, start to light it up but first let me run inside and get a bucket so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to put down some torches here just to uh, facilitate the uh, the growth of the grass around the uh, around this area here and you can light this up however you want to you just want some nice even lighting all the way around your structure and then you also want some nice lighting up here so I'll put some on the corners and then I'll go and say three then in the uh, middle we'll put one corner and then one two three out from there one two three let's go to the middle here put some on there put one there 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 in the middle, one say here, here, there's a zombie over there, all right, one there and one there, let's just say, then I should also put some around here, but that can wait for now, and as you can see, the grass is rapidly starting to spread, so I'll probably go ahead and be back when uh, or once this has a bunch of uh, much more grass actually let's go ahead and run in and get some more torches oh come on zombie <coughs> run circles around you shake and bake baby all right let's get a few more torches actually and see if we can uh, let's see whoop there's a stack of torches in there there we go 
Alright, let's head out. And hope we don't die out here. Let's go ahead and light this thing up properly. So what I like to do is... Oh, not fall off. What I like to do is put some torches along... Around this block here. And then place a few torches here and here. And if I can quit falling through the holes up here, that would be wonderful. We'll just put some there, and there, there, and there. And then the same on this side. And I think that's that covers all the uh, yeah, that covers all of those. So let's go ahead and drop down now and light up the inside. So on the inside here, what I like to do is just two torches right there. And look at the mo look at the monsters. They can't get in. Except at the sides, they can't get in there. So I wonder if the zombie's AI is going to lead them to us or not. Doesn't look like it is. Haven't figured out this yet. And then what we can do is we can take one extra dirt block here. And just put it, uh, put it right here on the uh, edge of the diamond, and that should uh, allow the water to still pass under without uh, affecting its flow pattern. So we'll just do that for every side, and then we'll put uh, torches on it, so that way mobs don't spawn in this in this area here, and it also helps the grass grow a little faster as well. So that's the, uh, that's the whole structure done, and next time you'll see me, I will uh, probably be back. Uh, let's see if we can just get this down real quick. Yep, there we go. Come on, experience. There we go. So next time you'll see me, I'll probably be back, and I'll, I'll show you how this structure works exactly. Okay, audience, just one more thing I uh, realize I just forgot, uh, and that is the creation of ladders to help us get up on the uh, on the structure itself so what we want is this type of deal and we want uh, quite a few ladders so we're gonna try and place them on all sides so five should be good ten ladders total that should be decent decent amount so let's go ahead and get out here and put it on this structure I think we can go ahead and get rid of uh, get rid of this for now. Because we don't really need it to get up there. So that's what the structure should look like. And then we just put our ladders on these dirt blocks here. And I'll put it on these three sides for now. And this will allow us to get up quickly and easily. Just like that. And as you can see, the grass is still still trying to grow here. Hello, everybody. As I'm waiting for this grass to grow, I'm just going to update you on what I've been doing. Uh, on a whim, I've decided to uh, make a little bridge right outside of my house. Uh, and I hear a skeleton burning somewhere, so hopefully it didn't shoot me off. But I'm making a bridge across here. There's also a slime down at the bottom of the uh, ravine. I can't tell you how lucky I've been getting... Uh, all these sl all these slimes to spawn nearby me, and there we go. I think that's all for the bridge. I'm gonna make it a little bit wider, actually. I think I'll make it five wide. And where is that sound coming from? Huh. Anyway, I think I'll make it five wide, and then I'll probably also go ahead and I'll go ahead and get rid of some of these blocks here because they look pretty unsightly. That's from way back in the first episode when I jumped down. Let's see if I can get the other ones. Yep, that's all I can get right now. But we'll go ahead and add one more layer on and we'll put a railing on the side here. There we go. And we'll go ahead and just put this as uh dirt down there and we'll put a railing on the side here just like this 
so that way we don't accidentally fall off into the ravine. And then we'll do the same thing on this side, I think. And we ran out of cobblestone. So let's see if I have some more in here somewhere. Here we go. Alright, let's go out here and finish this up. There we go. Okay, so there's our there's our bridge right there. And so now we can go it's not quite centered, which is kinda of frustrating. Well I might I might increase the size of this later on, but I'll let you know if I do. I've also been uh cutting down some sugar cane, as you can see I got one, two, three, four full stacks and then ten other ones. I also collected three lily pads, because why not, you know? Actually, they could be really useful in in using on this farm, which I also extended. I extended these these arms a little bit further down on all of them, and I also expanded this farm. And this thing is growing like crazy now. Good God! I guess I could go and harvest some of these pumpkins and some of these uh, watermelon. Whoops! Didn't mean to do that. God darn it! Oh well. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and harvest some of these melons. I'm hoping to uh, automate this melon farm and this wheat farm soon. I have two different designs for it, so I'll show you both of those. Let me just go ahead and get some of these. Man, I just planted this like a minute or two ago, too, so that's fantastic that we got all this. So I'll just do that. Keep some of them. And throw out this leather. Where's the watermelon at? Here we go. Get some watermelon. Get those mushrooms out of here. We already have enough of those. There we go. Okay, let's get these seeds and start planting some more. Uh, other than that, though, I've pretty much just been uh, been waiting on the uh, farm, the grass to grow. It's about halfway over there. You can see some on the side there. But yeah, I'll continue to keep you updated. Alright, hello audience. Welcome back. It now appears as if most of this grass up here... Actually, it looks like all of this grass up here is now grown. Except for that one little spot over there. But that should be... Okay, I think enough of it is grown so I can go ahead and show you how this uh, seed and flower generator works. So... Let's just run back inside and grab some bone meal, and I will be right back. So yeah, let's go ahead and use this uh, seed and cobblestone generator. So what, how you use it is, you stand right in the middle, and then you just click uh, both above and below you, and this will generate uh, a bunch of uh, seeds, or a bunch of tall grass, rather. And you can use it, you know, as much as you want. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just try and get cover as much area as you can. And you shouldn't really have to move. You should just be able to remain stationary. And then once you feel like you've had, uh, you've gotten enough grass to grow, that should be good. Then just go ahead and put your water directly above you onto that block. And then watch your inventory fill up as soon as this water gets down here. We get right in the center. Yep, so we can watch the inventory fill up. So everything should be coming right to you. And you don't want to let this water run too long, otherwise it'll wash away the grass and it'll just be left with dirt, but... Yeah, so that seems like it should be long enough. And so yeah, we got 23 seeds, four roses, and eight flowers. And then you can go ahead and do it again if you'd like. All right, that should be good. And then you can even hit some of these blocks over here if you need to. And so that's pretty much the uh, the whole generator. Works just off the principle that water washes away all of these. Uh, these things and you can just watch it fill up and you don't really have to do anything. It saves greatly on the amount of time 
it takes to uh, collect seeds and everything else. And it's a really fast and efficient way to uh, get all the uh, seeds and flowers you need. This is what the water pattern should look like on top, guys. It'll all just uh, flow down to the corners here due to these signs that you place in the 3 by 2 little uh, arch shape here. And then if we go ahead and drop down, you can see that any of the drops that fell down here will be sucked to the middle. And so it makes for a very efficient seed generator. So I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Cub Fan. Goodbye.